I have an incredibly long list of things that I want to make, but choosing which to work on is very tedious. I know I could make an Instagram post and then have other people help me decide, but making a post is also tedious. So what I usually end up doing is going over to my sewing machine and just seeing what thread is on it. And then I just make something in that color and that helps me narrow down the choices. It doesn't always work. And today it is black. So today I'm making a black skirt. Intro, take two, Mark. So today I will be making a black skirt. My piece of fabric was about 50 some inches long and 57 inches wide. I straightened up the edges and then cut the length at about 44 inches. If you are making the skirt, you'll get your length by measuring from your waist to the floor and then add about three inches. This will be for a hem and a waistband. Then take that rectangle and cut it into three sections down the 44 inch length. For two of the pieces, you'll sew them together at the sides with a regular stitch, but only about 15 or 16 inches down, depending on how high you want your slits, because the rest of the length will become slits. Make sure you backstitch at the end of those points. Set your sewing machine to the longest stitch, and then sew the rest of the way down with that basting stitch. Then take the remaining unsewn sides, match them together, and sew all the way down with a regular stitch. That will be your center back seam. It will go at the center back of you. Once you have accomplished those steps, you will now have a tube. Slide that tube over your ironing board and give those seams a nice press and create some flat felled seams. If you don't know how to sew a flat felled seam, you can check out this little tutorial on YouTube. Return your tube, not YouTube, your tube, to your ironing board and flip over the top edge one half inch and press. Make sure it's the top edge to avoid sadness because both edges will look the same, but the slits need to be at the bottom edge. Once you determine top from bottom and you have flipped the top edge over one half inch, then flip it over again one and a half inches this time, press and pin. Now it's time to sew a straight stitch right along the edge of that channel, but stop before you make it all the way around. Leave it open about two inches for the elastic to enter. And exit. Time to thread the elastic. Once you have thread, threaded, thread, threaded. Once the elastic is all the way through, take the ends of the elastic, overlap them, and give them a good stitch to secure the stretchy circle. Then give it a good shuffle to evenly distribute the fabric. And don't forget to close up that little gap. You'll probably have to stretch out the elastic so the fabric doesn't bunch, but be careful to also help guide the fabric through so that pulling on the elastic doesn't mess up your machine's tension. Keeping that hem nice and simple, just turn the edge under half an inch, and then again another half inch, and stitch. Now we have arrived at the final step, which is to unpick the basting stitches to set free the slits.